Namaste. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the space. Any new wellness on your journey? Hopefully, I can help somebody out with this message. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's grab us a couple of rooms though, while we at it. I've been filling my rooms. Even calling the kid. I'm like, okay, okay. I am here. Let me use my room. See what comes out. How you guys doing out there? Hope you are well. All right, taking care of yourselves. All right. So there's some sort of help or something that's getting ready to come in. I'm seeing here assistance. Also, I see like um, guardianship. This could definitely be like by way of like your ancestors, your guardians, those that walk with you. Okay, wow. What came out? Look, the emperor. It fell right on the rooms. So yeah, definitely see that here. You also got a lot of joy, pleasure right now, comfort. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. It's almost like because you're going after your passions is what I'm getting here. Okay. You have some sort of spiritual illumination, 144. Wow. With authority on the back. An emperor. <clears throat> so I could definitely be talking to some, like an emperor, empress type of energy here. Very balanced. Credentials. Someone has a lot of credentials. Okay. Tell me more here, Holy Spirit. some sort of help like you about to receive some sort of help divine intervention it's like your angels or your guys those that work with you they know you need help okay because you're dealing with like an entity of opposition it could even be like multiple entities of opposition if that makes sense okay because i'm getting like groups okay attacking you and I'm, it's like groups entities yeah wow as i'm saying that what's on the back revenge i'm literally saying that as i'm saying that like revenge is on the back these not even see through these cards. Somebody like literally like they hate you. They get copycat. They obsessed with you. I'm getting jump Gemini Virgo energy. Okay, I'm also getting like certain people in your life. You know they might have left you stranded. It was a reason why. You know because they were working with those entities that are opposing you. Okay, in your life, <laughs> whatever ways, right? Okay, yeah, wow. So it's almost like you're building like a, a community or like a, right, so to speak. And it's like you're in some sort of vetting stage right now. You could be vetting, okay, is what I'm getting here. Somebody does a lot of breath work or something like that or like, like deep breathes or just like does that a lot. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm getting that. Whatever. My spirit animal is a dragon. You have a lot of power. something you casting out right now okay something that doesn't stand a chance because like i said there's some sort of help guardianship here that's like helping you with something group effort okay because like i said like they see like your guardians see like 
that you're being attacked on a group level and so they're like oh okay good now we all get to join in right like something like that yeah i'm being like he like a master at something here then like i said yeah something about community and you building soul family soul tribe being in the community something like that like you're a part of the community whatever this community is it's probably like a spiritual community Yeah, it's like a soul family, they're saying. Through some sort of experience of mastery, teaching, whatever. Okay. It's very well thought out. You're very pure heart. That's what it is. Very pure blood. Okay. Your blood is pure. Yeah. Keep getting one of many. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like a group. Like, oh, y'all thought y'all was going to team up? against my peoples it's like gang everybody coming out the wood works so it's like even your so your soul family your spiritual family your ancestors your guardians all the forces that's like around you that like support you they are definitely like pulling out all guns it's like y'all in a war it's like a <laughs> if i had to paint a picture right it's like a you ever heard of like those old school like um turf wars when they used to have like the East Coast versus the West Coast or something like that, and then like everybody like getting a scrimmage, <laughs> and it's like <laughs> the red against the blue, you know, something like that. <laughs> Can I make this shit up? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm getting. <laughs> People love your energy. I'm also getting it too. You're going to have a lot of prosperity, rewards, and success. I just really think that you're experiencing a lot of joy and harmony right now. Okay? Even uh, while you are in battle. Truly. Okay? This is like a spirit, a spiritual uh, battle here. Spiritual war there. Okay? If you will. Alright? Um, and I think you're doing a really good job. And you know that you are winning... <laughs> Okay, when you can, you know, honestly be present and sit in joy and sit in uh, comfort, okay, and just harmony, even if everything's, damn it, falling apart around you, 737, like, you know, for real, real shit. Somebody's mad about your opportunity, you being on a winning team, they mad they picked the wrong team, that's what it is. I mean, if they're no different than you. They could have took. They could have been on the winning team, but they chose the losing team for whatever reason. That's their. That's their choice. We all. Everybody got choices. We all got free will, right? For the most part. That's not really true, but anyways, I'm. I'm just gonna say this. Everybody got choices. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're ascending Jupiter's energy. You definitely could be like having an audience or, you know, like people watch you or look up to you or you have some sort of affluence here, okay, with your ascension process. It was meant for you to teach. It was meant for you to reach, okay? So whatever it is that you're doing, okay, it's you in purpose, okay? That's also why you're getting a lot of support and experiencing um, this, this major ascension, that's leading to a lot of, you know, Jupiter energy with expansion, right? You are awakening something from within you, okay? From dormancy, okay? This sort of a part of you that was sleep, okay? If you will. Yeah. Through this journey, you are awakening a part of you that was sleep, okay? Yeah, wow, look. Remember I said your ancestors, your guides... That's who are watching you right now. They are looking after you, this group, because they know that this other group, you know, is in opposition towards you, right? And you probably could feel this. Wow, you are getting some sort of viral exposure, okay? 
you're doing something regularly like about this communication with your ancestors your guides through your journey and like you you've gained like a really strong sense of and connection with your ancestors your guides you know you know you really know who these people who these energies are you call them by name you know um etc right you have a really strong connection here in the spiritual realm is what i'm getting okay so somebody that i'm talking to you have a really deep connection with your soul okay as well as like a really deep connection with um others okay yeah wow we got pleiadian someone could be the pleiadian some pleiadian is significant here let's get one yeah your prophetess they're also really good looking. I don't know. I'm getting that for someone here. Okay, you're very attractive. Okay. I just heard that song, Hey, Good Looking. What you got cooking? So somebody is very attractive though, that ass. <laughs> yeah, wow, look, spirit guides. You are like really connected to them right now. They are near and they are constantly near you because it's like you communicate with them regularly. You have a really strong bond and connection with them. Okay. Your ancestors, your guides. So like immediately, as soon as something started pulling on your energy, you know what I mean? Like, wow, look, look, look. As soon as something started pulling on your energy, like your ancestors, your spirit guides, right? They all picked up on it. Your angels, right? And that's why they're like full force. We have to make sure... You know, nothing happens to you. You know, that's what it is. They're on a mission to make sure that nothing happens to you. Okay, That's what I'm getting here. Whoever this message is for, like you're divinely protected. Okay. You have a higher power guiding your life. Okay. have higher forces working on your behalf you know knowingly and unknowingly okay some of the forces that actually work for you okay i don't know if you know all of them but that's why i say knowingly or unknowingly it's these forces okay because i feel like you know a great deal of them uh who support you, right? And then I also feel like there's also forces that you may be unaware. Just how huge that, you know, ex extension or olive branch of family, you know, really goes. Something like that. I'm getting that as well. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, wow, we've got the sun. I'm seeing a lot of prosperity for you here. Whoever I'm talking to, like, it wasn't easy or whatever, but you found some sort of prosperity. And I feel like maybe it was, this was due to you, like, finding, like, a significant like counterpart or something like that or like had a lot to do with it or something like that or whatever your mission is is like you were meant to like have like a significant partner you know what i mean or something like that just significant something important about a partnership or like having a partner okay was significant for you okay and i feel like kind of connect being able to connect to another person um, it has a lot to do with um, some of the, you know, um, finding someone for you has a lot to do with sometimes I think like your level of personal growth, you know, because two unhealed people like they could be together, but it's like it's going to be toxic. Right. So it's like you definitely work well together with whoever you if you are in connection. Right. You work well with this person. I'm saying some of you guys definitely in like damn near married here with the sun and the uh, hangman in reverse. Yeah, like when you first started out, like you weren't as confident that you could do what you're doing right now. Like you knew, but like some it was just took. You believing in yourself and then you found somebody that believed in you too, is what I'm hearing. 
here okay and there's a divine protection over you because of this connection because it's almost like remember i said earlier like all of the energies of the people around you support you so that means that they you're backed up times like two because whoever this person that you're in relationship with it's two of cups right they their ancestors their guides are also backing you up you know what i'm saying like not on our watch it's like all these forces coming together you see what i'm saying so that could be some of the unknown energy that's what i'm saying known and unknown right energies that support you i see you doing really good financially i mean everybody has their uh challenges and and sort of right um things that may come up but i see you working through them if you are experiencing any because you could possibly be experiencing some but i see like you obviously like coming out of that you know i see further opportunities coming towards you uh that you definitely are manifesting but maybe weren't expecting it to come like a certain type of way but it comes in like a different type of form okay maybe like an unexpected way i'm saying like multiple doors so this could be like multiple uh options or you know not having to just go one way you know like a one track mind okay i'm hearing like resourcefulness okay so something about you being more resourceful these days like even though like you know, you doing what you got to do, right? It's like you finding some sort of financial literacy as well. Okay. Like, I feel like your ancestors, your guys are going to, like, help you to gain something, some sort of... Um, It's almost like helping you find like more revenue or more money or more opportunities or something like that to do with your finances. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting here. You got the death, the empress, and a judgment, literally. Like that's your ancestors, you know, here. Your spirit guides, your spirit council. I feel like they're really supporting you okay deeply so connect with them i feel like they they may know something that you may have not thought about like you know ask for clear and precise messages also i'm getting that too like you know what i mean like if you're connecting with spirit you know to be very clear and and precise you know what you're asking here because the mission is getting more intense is what I'm getting. And some of you guys could have been in a situation where you're not poor, but you definitely could be living a lot better, a lot more lavish, a lot more uh, insulated. Okay. Um, and I think that you're working towards that here. <clears throat> yep. You got the three of pentacles, king of pentacles to the eight of cups. Okay. <clears throat> There could be things you need to maybe like stop doing or walk away from or something like that as well. Here I'm seeing that with this eight of cups sort of energy. Or this could even just be that you like releasing something. Here I'm seeing like the Empress and Emperor, like you, although you two complement each other, you two are very much on separate paths so to speak not separate separate paths but yeah separate paths but they like both go the same way if that makes sense you know um that's what i'm getting here we got the emperor okay so this, this masculine energy this emperor energy could be younger than the empress here so it could be like age difference here something like that i'm getting um yeah. i 
feel like you're very connected. You're on a mission or something like that. There could be definitely like a group of people trying to work against you and whatever it is that you're going about, you know, even if it's just on a financial sense. And that's what I think it is. I feel like you're overcoming that. Some of you guys could have been really shy or really reserved or something like that. And like you're overcoming that as well. Like you're learning how to, you know, overcome whatever uh, that held you back. This could even be like something about speech or speaking. Okay. Yeah, it's like it, your angels, your ancestors are coming to the defense of you right now. Okay, it's like a natural instinct. And it's a group effort, like I said, okay? Because of this mission, you being on this mission, this path, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, you got the page of pentacles. This is deeply about, like, your finances overcoming something, like, really, like, something's trying to hold you back. Like, it doesn't want you to, like, move forward. It doesn't want you to, like be successful or something like that is what I'm getting. Yeah, because it's like an energy wanting you to kind of like give up or something like that. And it's like, why would you give up on what it is you want? So, you know, that's like an opposing force. Like, and it's coming in from like a group. So, it's like not just like one person, 21 through 33, that you could go after. You know what I mean? So, it's like you need like a group or support, you know, or like something like that to help come to your defense here. Okay. And that's what they're doing. Your ancestors, your guys here with the Ten of Pentacles. That speaks of... Um, what you call that inheritance okay family okay right things like that so yeah they're coming to your rescue like I said again two of cups because of this connection your mission is great okay whoever this is that I'm talking to okay your mission is great And, like, your partner completely, like, fits the description of who you need to be with to get to where you're trying to go. Okay. I'm almost seeing, too, like, someone, like, not necessarily raised somebody, but, like, definitely, like, taught somebody, like, a lot. Okay. in this relationship here and i feel like because of the way that you two mesh like you were able to digest that whatever this person was giving you this good bit of advice right because i feel like sometimes when we receive advice right sometimes i feel like the best advice is that advice we couldn't take you know what i mean if that makes sense right <laughs> so the, the fact that you can take this advice is like, you know what I mean? So that's that's good, like, you know, good shit right there, you know? Because somebody might just have, like, a certain way of, like, you know, kind of telling you something or relaying, like, a message to you or something like that as well. I'm getting that too. But, yeah. Let me see what else I'm getting. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, we got Phoenix. Catalytic heart awakening, rising from the ashes, a total transformation, complete renewal. Yeah, we got immortal. You're now immortal. Whatever Phoenix death and rebirth that you went through here, okay. And I think I'm, when I say this to you, right, I'm getting to if you're in a connection, right, this is definitely to do, uh, you know, these messages apply definitely to your partner. OK, uh, but whatever this death and rebirth is, it made you like immortal, if that makes sense. OK. It's 
it's like the knowing of the fact that you are a, an immortal being you see that's how you know that you're deep in some spiritual you know taking some spiritual notes classes right you know you're in a very divinely guided place because that's what it is like a lot of people just don't know that they have this soul that's immortal right um so you know a lot of people might walk around with a lot of baggage you know okay and i, and I feel like you don't want to feel that curse. You don't want to be, you know, walk through life with some sort of guilt, shame, or regret, you know? So, it's like you're finding, like, that your awakening is going to be a lot easier than guilt, you know? Turning towards your transformation for this complete renewal in your life is going to be a lot easier than you know, not accepting your, the help of your spirit guides and being in tune with who you are on a spiritual, emotional level, right? Um, this is what I'm getting for whoever I'm talking to. Yeah, because whatever this mission is, is 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 trying, okay? But it's meant to be. Yeah, somebody could have been like in the past, like a total wreck, <laughs> torn up. <laughs> Like, you really overcome something these days, okay? It's almost like you, you, you don't even recognize yourself these days. <laughs> How much you've transformed, okay? Yeah, look. Unconditional love. Love of a lifetime. I was totally getting that here. I'm telling you. Somebody's in a love of a lifetime. This is legendary. This divine union. If you definitely find yourself is you find yourself in a partnership for those of you guys getting this reading, this is like a divine union. Let me see. What else do we got? Yeah, we got willfulness, self-realization, directed, identity, creative. Yeah, there's energies that want to create some sort of doubt, hesitation. And they're beyond view, this opposition. Okay? But they, they're causing some sort of indecision or misunderstandings, confusion. They want things to feel unclear to you. That's the energy that they're giving, this opposition sort of energy, right? So while you're ascending. And I feel like it's been the same sort of group of energies, like, your whole life, right? It's just like the more that you level up, though, in life, like, it's like, like different devils, right? It's kind of like playing Mario, right? You like... The more you go up to the levels, right, everything kind of intensifies, right? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you're very confident now. Okay. Yeah, there was some sort of divine intervention because you kept some sort of promise to yourself, okay? And it's like right now your ascension is happening and it's such a, such a perfect timing for everything that's happening for you, you know? Everything couldn't have happened better. The timing of the way things happen in your life, okay? Show me what I'm getting. But yeah, let me know how y'all like this message down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.